here's the uh, dust collector so far. This will have the hose port go on it over here. Uh, we've got an internal circle which will have pet film on the inside in here. And the top collector actually sits on the inside of the top plate. And this will then sit just below the surface of the top. Um, this piece I've just cut with a uh, normal end mill. Uh, I need to do it with a ball nose, but I haven't had that arrive yet, so I'll be remaking this later this week uh, with the ball nose end mill, which should give me a pretty much sanded finish, and that's just going to smooth the airflow coming over so it doesn't trip on the hard edges. So that'll be the extraction port, and by having this embedded down inside the inner circle, the air's going to have to come over the top of this, which will give slightly less turbulent flow on the insert, on the, uh, or the outtake of the uh, hose, and also reduce the amount of just what the dust it picks up. So there's not a very large gap between the top of this and the top plate of here. So dust is gonna come in here. Swirl around this will also have pet film uh, stapled and glued to the inside. There's the thane baffle in the middle to go to the bin. Uh, these are, this isn't actually installed yet. None of this is glued together. It's all just friction fitted. With the uh, CNC, it's obviously able to be extremely tight fitting. So there's reliefs in every corner so that the uh, end mill can knock out a square edge for the part to fit into. So far everything's fitted together pretty much perfectly. Haven't had to modify anything. In these corners we're going to have uh, these little angled bits. There's three of them. Uh, the third one is around somewhere, I'm not sure where I've left it. Um, but there's one of them in each of these. So when the air is swirling around it's going to just direct some of the dirt which might have collected in here back into the slot. Um, being that this is the last slot that there, I've got a little hole in this side so that dust can drop down there. Kind of the point of these is to support the center section and also to decelerate the air which is a bit lower down to hopefully drop more of the dust down into the um, bin and underneath. It's just a really cheap rubber made bin. Uh, which I got from Home Depot or Lowe's and uh, I have actually cut the ring to go inside there. This will go underneath the cyclone and into the bin but uh, I was kind of dumb and measured from handle to handle rather than the inner circumference and the bin isn't circular. It's slightly elliptical I'm guessing from the way it was stored or packed or shipped. Um, so this ring is a little bit big because I of course measured the largest dimension. Um, so I need to remake that part. This is the top plate, so this, once it's installed, makes the, uh, and all glued together, makes the top plate, and that will be my dust cyclone. And with all the ribbing on the side, it should keep the fairly thin pet film, which I've got, um, which is only about, uh, half a millimetre thick. Actually, it's probably like quarter of a millimeter thick um, from deflecting too much and makes it nice and visible throughout but also keeps it looking kind of neat I think I like the look of the uh, jigsaw construction Got big handles on the side here um, and I'm thinking for holding this down I'm just gonna stick some bolts straight through into the bin head here if um, putting some weather stripping underneath doesn't seal it up well enough I'm hoping that just putting weather stripping underneath this once it's got a vacuum pulled on it, we'll drop it down enough onto the bin that it shouldn't, in its own weight, this isn't exactly lightweight, we'll seal it up well enough that we shouldn't get too much air leakage. And then that'll sit between the CNC router, um, which has got its hoses going down underneath the very, very crappy table, folding table, which is kind of bending a bit under the load. And uh, we'll probably go down under here where that um, joint is or out here somewhere. And that will be my cyclonic separator to fix up the issues with the very cheap Busy Bee dust cyclone. <coughs> dust cyclone is pretty good, but I've had to reseal all of this interface. It comes with a rubber seal in there, but it kind of leaks quite a lot. So I've just put silicon on that last night, which has helped a lot, but you can still see 
even though I cleaned this last night, um, there's still dust escaping from this interface of the bag where it's pleated a little bit. Um, the bag actually came with a cut in it from Busy Bee, which is kind of annoying because uh, that blast mark on the wall is completely from where the cut was in the bag. So now everything is covered in dirt, um, which is why I've pulled it up and pleated it over a few times to get the cut above the point where it was. Um, you can still see that there's dust escaping quite a lot out of here where this seam is again. Um, despite the fact I cleaned this last night, I cut a couple more sheets of 12 mil MDF. Um, I've got it sitting on top of a box because this bag is now too short. It does a reasonable job. I mean, it's collected an awful lot of dust, but it's also distributed an awful lot of dust onto the ground. I mean, that's just in two days, we've got fairly significant deposition. So I think if we can get at least 90% or 95% of the dust out with this, it's gonna be an awful lot less dust making it to the dust extractor. And that will then give me a lot less dust in the air. And also it's easier just to carry the bin out and throw it out rather than having to try and deal with these stupid plastic bags which are really difficult to get on and off. Um, just a pain in the butt I don't want to deal with. So pre-filter it all, um, get all the big chunks out because if the router goes along and this is a bit which was um, cut out, um, it was just between two pieces. Oh look, there's my third little wind guide. This is a little piece which was between um, two bits which were panelized. Um, I was running out of room on the panels so those are probably a little bit too tight and it's actually broken it off. If that had have gotten sucked up, um, it would have made the dust extractor a little bit unhappy. So this will collect up any larger pieces, which can make it through because with the four inch port like this, the suction is quite considerable. Um, these discs are out of the center of the middle support rings in there. And these are actually getting sucked up heavily against the brush. You can see them um, moving around from the suction, which the brush is creating. Um, so if that's getting sucked up, then you get a two inch disc or something and it's gonna go straight through that extraction system and it's gonna block this up because there's some cross pieces in here which will get blocked up pretty quickly. So if I can get all of that stuff out into here, uh, at least I'll be able to remove that a little bit easier than blocking up the whole extractor.